Hello folks, my name is Manuel Master and welcome to this Unreal Engine 4 tutorial about creating local volumetric fog. I had to split this tutorial into three videos. The first video will be about creating a local volumetric fog surface, basic. The second video will be about creating um, the fog in a custom shape and uh, increasing the quality of the fog in general and the third video will be about um, creating collision and interaction with the fog surfaces so let's uh, jump right into the first tutorial as you can see i've already opened up my Unreal engine 4 editor i am on version 4.19.2 and i'm going to start by right click and create a new material i'm calling it local fog and for better accessibility later, I'm going to right click and create a material instance. Now I double click on my local fog material. And at first I have to change the material domain to volume. And the blend mode needs to be additive. I'm going on by right clicking and type in sphere mask. And from the A input, I'm dragging out a line and type word position. From the B input, I'm dragging out a line and type particle position. From the radius, I'm dragging out a line and type particle radius. And for the hardness, I need a scalar param parameter. That's why I'm dragging out a line and type scalar parameter. I'm calling this one hardness. This will later define how soft the fog will be. And the default value I set to 1. Now I'm dragging out the line from the output of the sphere mask and type multiply. I'm doing the same again, type multiply. And for the lower multiply B input, I drag out a line and type scalar parameter again. This will be extinction and the default way will be one. Now I can uh, Plug the multiply in the extension node. And for the albedo, I need a color. That's why I hold 3 and left click. This will create a, a color a value. And by right clicking on it, I'm going to convert it into a parameter to have it, have it later in my material instance. And I'm going to call it color. Now I can uh, drag this line into the other multiply node and this I'm going to drag into the albedo. For the default color I'm going to choose something dark bluish. Okay, that's basically it for the material setup. So I apply it, close it and now I need something to apply my material to. That's why I am again right clicking and create a particle system and I'm going to call it local fog particle. I double click to open it up and at the first uh, node required you see you can set a material and I'm going to set a material instance that I created local fog instance. For the spawn I only want one fog particle to spawn at this moment that's why I set it to constant 1. Everything else can be left. For the lifetime, 1 second is okay. The initial size, I change the distribution to distribution vector constant and set the size of let's say 300. And we, I only need to set uh, the x value because it's basically a flat surface faking a three dimensional uh, volumetric. Um, particle. Going on to initial velocity, I'm going to change the distribution to. I'm setting the distribution vector constant and here um, the velocity I leave at zero because I don't want the fog to move in any direction at the moment. Okay, that's basically it for the material and particle emitter. So let's drag the, the emitter into the world and let's see what happens. And bam, nothing happens. That's because I have to enable the volumetric fog. I'm doing that by going to the top left and type exponential height fog. 
as you can see exponential high fork I can drag this into my level and once it's selected the exponential height fork I can see that there's a checkbox for volumetric fork I'm going to check this and now as you can see a volumetric fork sphere has been created let's look how it looks in game there it is and it even has uh, already shadow casting if there's no shadow casting for you in this case I suggest um, taking your light source of your level going to the very top and change to static or movable mode once and once you have done that uh, there should be shadow casting on this uh, material particle sphere so this sphere is quite nice but it's a little bit boring so uh, let's make it a little, more, a little bit more interesting I'm going to right click and import a uh, fog texture I created in paint.net because, because I'm a poor person and I cannot afford uh, Photoshop so after importing the texture I open up my material again and drag the texture into my material from here I'm dragging out the line of my texture and type multiply and I'm going to multiply this with the other multiply node of my sphere mask and the output of the new multiply I'm dragging into extinction okay now let's check what is looking in game okay it's a little bright I can't really see and that's why I'm uh, opening my material instance and make the extinction a little bit higher and here you can see you got a nice little fog volume and even casting shadows so it looks uh, nicer now but it can be even more interesting by applying a texture to this color so I'm going to again import a texture I made again in paint.net and I opening my material and dragging this texture into my material now I'm going to blend my texture over the base color so I drag out a line from my new texture sample and type blend overlay blend, over, blend overlay and from the second blend input I drag out a line into my color and the result of the blend over, overlay I'm going to drag into the uh, multiply of the albedo so that's basically it let's apply and uh, let's look what in-game changes we got after compiling is finished as you can see the color of the particle has changed now can, this can be very handy if you want to have the top of the particle brighter and the, the bottom a little bit darker okay one particle volumetric is cool but I want a particle volumetric surface at this moment that's why I'm going again into my particle system and tweak some settings here for the spawn I want this time to have not only one particle spawn but 500 what by the way is the maximum uh, for um, CPU based particles uh, for a lifetime I leave one for initial size I leave 300 also velocity is okay but I don't want my particles to spawn in just one place I want a special location uh, to spawn them that's why I right click here choose location and going to choose a cylinder I'm going to click on cylinder and to see my cylinder in this uh, preview window I'm going to the very bottom here and uh, click this checkbox now I want the cylinder a little bit bigger uh, that's why I'm going to increase the start radius to let's say 500 and I don't want to, uh, it to have a thickness that's why I'm going to set a start height to 1 let's save and check the in-game results okay as you can see I have now a thick surface of volumetric fog okay I can drag this down a little bit and 
yeah i think it's a nice result for the first tutorial you can still create the tweak the material parameters in the in the instance or like for instance the color or the th thickness and the extinction and create a really nice effect with that okay i think this wraps it up for this first tutorial videos stay tuned for the next tutorial videos where i show you how to create a volumetric fog in the, the shape that you want and the uh, last video uh, how to collide with the created volumetric fog i hope um, you liked this tutorial i hope you got what you expected at this moment and i would say see you on the next video